Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing the problem N meetings in one room. So the problem says that there is one meeting room in a firm and there are N meetings in the form of start to end where start is the start time of the meeting I and end I is the finish time of the meeting I. What is the maximum number of meetings that can be accommodated in this meeting room when only one meeting can be held in the meeting room at a particular time? The start time of one chosen meeting can be, can, can't be equal to the end time of another chosen meeting. Okay. So what the question says is that let's assume that you you are sitting in a meeting room. Okay. If you're sitting in a meeting room, this question says that you're given the start and end times of a particular amount of meetings. Let's say you have a meeting one with a start time of one and an end time of two, right? So it's going to be running from one to two. You have a start time of three for the second meeting and end time of four for the second, second meeting. So it's going to be running from three to four. You have start time of zero and an end time of six of one meeting, right? Now, what you need to do is you need to maximize the number of meetings that can happen in the meeting room. For example, if we have a meeting of start time one and an end time two over here and three and four, right? This means that the ending time of this meeting room is not overlapping with this start time of this meeting room, right? So if I say that, if I want to do a meeting from one to two, Right, I can finish it that in one hour, right? And then there's another meeting from three to four that can also happen from you know in one hour. But in this case, when we go to the third case, we have zero to six, which means the start time of one meeting is from zero and it's going to end at six, right? Is it better because we want to maximize the number of meetings in the room? If we take this meeting happening over here, you'll have to you can't let anyone in for six hours. But in this case, you can have two meetings in that time, right? So it doesn't make sense to have this meeting. Rather, we'll have two meetings, two small meetings rather than one big meeting, right? And similarly for the next one, if we can't dig this meeting, we can just jump to five and seven and see what their meetings are. So five to seven ends in two hours, right? And it's not overlapping with anything. So we can have that meeting as well. Similarly goes for eight to nine, but for five to nine, we can't do it because if we go from five to nine, we block four hours of time, which in which we can just do two other meetings in the same way, right? That's why we have an output of four over here. Okay. So this is the question basically. Now, how would you solve this problem? Now to solve this problem, what you need to do is the very first step is to sort all your start and end times in terms of your end time, right? So let's say my start time is one. And my end time is two. We'll write the end time first because when you sort it in Python, it uh, it sorts automatically the array in in terms of the very first element in it. Okay, and this is going to be a multi-dimensional array. It's going to be like this, and we'll also store the index of it. So this is going to be something like this: two one one three uh, four three two. And then we'll have six zero three. Then we'll have a four seven five four. Then we'll have a nine eight five, and then we'll have a nine five six. Nine five six, yeah. Okay, so this is what you'll get, and this is actually the sorted manner also for this question. Okay, if you think about it, this is the sorted way only. If you sort in terms of the n times you'll see that two comes first and four and six and seven the nine then nine okay now since this is sorted okay what do you need to do now you have to loop through it you need to keep a limit over here and the limit should be the end time of the very first meeting okay in this case it's going to be this array of zero zero let's say we make this turn this into an array so array of zero of zero, which is two is going to be the limit for us, right? If this is the limit, now what we'll do is we'll loop from one till the end of the array and we'll check if the start time of the next meeting is after the end time or not. So in this case, it is after the end time, right? So we can just increment the count. Initially, the count will be one because we're already going to be doing the very first meeting in terms of its end time. Right, this meeting will already be, be doing done in terms of its end time because it has a, the least amount of time will be taken to finish this meeting. 
because n time is the most least, right? So if we take, already take count one. Now when we come over here, we'll check if the start time of the meeting, which is three, is greater than the end time of this meeting or not. If it is greater, right? With this means that we can also do this meeting, right? If we can do this meeting, we'll increment the counter by one, and we'll increment and we change the limit to four, which of the current meeting, which means that this is now our threshold, right? We need to do the next meeting that will happen should be after the time period of four. Now we when we come to the third meeting, we'll see that six, the start time, which is zero, is not greater than the end time, greater than our limit, which is four, which means that we can we can't do this meeting and we just continue ahead of it, right? And we won't increment anything. Now when we go to the fourth meeting, we'll see that the start time, which is is five, which is greater than our limit, which means that we can do this meeting, right? If we can do this meeting, we'll just increment the counter and we'll change the limit by to seven in this case. Now for the next one, again, when we check it over here, we see that the start time is greater than our limit. We'll change this to nine, which is the end time for that current meeting. And we'll also add that meeting to our counter. And when you check the very last one, we see that five, the start time is not greater than our limit, which means we can't do this meeting. And we'll just in the end return the counter, which is four in this case. All right, guys. So yeah, let's code this out now. Okay, so to code it out, what we'll do is firstly, we'll just loop through, uh, you know, we'll just loop through both the arrays start and end. We can take any one as the length of the array. And what we'll do is we'll just append all these elements in, an, in a main array to sort them out. Okay, so to sort it out, what we'll do is we'll append it in the manner of end first and we'll do start and then we'll just do the index which is i we'll sort it in the basis of this once it's sorted just sort this once it's sorted what we'll do is we're going to loop through we're going to set a limit for us and the limit is going to be array of zero and zero as i told you before of the very first element of the array and the end time is going to be the end and the end time of that very first element is going to be the limit for us limit for us and the counter will already be one because the very first uh the very first task the very first element in the array in this array is going to already be doing done because it has the least amount of time taken because it will take the least amount of time right so now what we'll do is we'll just loop through it loop through the array from one the index one because the zero index is already being done and what we'll do is we'll check if our array of i of one is greater than our limit or not if it is greater than our limit what we'll do is we'll just increment the counter by one and we'll change threshold of our value to array of i of zero and once that is done, else we'll just continue and in the end, we'll just return count. So let's run the code guys. And let's submit it. Yeah, it's submitted guys. So. Yeah, guys, that's all for this video, guys. If you like the video, do like, share, and subscribe. Do let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'll want to watch next on the channel. Do check out my podcast on my channel. We have amazing speakers coming on and speaking over there. It's one of, I think it's one of the most, you know, informational podcasts out there. So do check it out. Uh, until next time, guys, see you.